in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. Of course, on the screen I have the NIV version for those who prefer it, but what's coming is going to probably bother a lot of folks. But it's going to be a revelation as well. Donald Trump is very likely to lose this coming election. And afterward, he is more than likely going to be angry with Christians. Because the reason that he loses this election when everybody has counted all the votes and they have looked at all the polling is going to be the Dobbs decision. Because what they are going to see across this country is women and those who are voting on the topic of abortion showed up in huge numbers while Christians did not. And this is something that only about a month ago Donald Trump was talking about in Indiana, Pennsylvania. Now, we covered this today, brand spanking new video over at the Florida Maki Patreon channel, and it's for everybody, no matter what level you're at, 1, 5, 10, 15, this video was for everybody. There are a lot of folks overthinking what's going to happen next week. And right now, there's a couple of specific pieces of evidence that are showing it's only going to be about one thing, really. Women are going to show up in huge numbers. Many women who probably wouldn't have voted are going to vote because of the Dobbs decision. And it's not about whether you like the practice or don't like the practice. It's about government intervention or not. And they are believing what Kamala Harris is saying. Now, we also have something, brand new video over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel that not a lot of people saw in Madison Square Garden. Something was revealed there, and many people were all caught up in the moment. But if you were paying real close attention, there was something that was shown that reveals a lot about where we're going. We are right now in the throes of an Illuminati ritual, and nobody has seen it. If you'd like to join us at Patreon, like I said, base level, only one US dollar per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year, and fully and completely refundable for the first 90 days, no questions asked. Now, I know a lot of people are probably typing already, and they have a lot of faith in Trump, but I remember Obama winning twice. And while I know a lot of you don't like John McCain, on 95% of the policies, John McCain and Donald Trump had the same opinion. They had some minor differences, but Obama clobbered John McCain on the issues. And then week before, a few days before, Romney Romney was far more qualified than John McCain was, and way, way, way more qualified than Barack Obama was, and he lost. This isn't about who's the most qualified. is isn't about the economy. It's about emotions and about people's feelings. And I keep going through this 270 to win and looking at all the different possible scenarios. Nevada has just ruled their Supreme Court that they will allow unpostmarked ballots to be counted up to three days after voting closes. So Trump can kiss Nevada goodbye. They'll count up all the Trump votes first and figure out how much they need and then just add to the total. But this whole blue wall thing, and I have it here at the best case scenario, um, for Trump, 274 to 264, this gives him North Carolina, Georgia, and Arizona. I don't think he can win Arizona because right now, Kari Lake is getting smoked by double digits on the topic of abortion. It's actually closed a little bit, 46 to 40, but it's not even close. It's way outside the margin of error. He is beating her on women's rights issues. And if that's what's going on in Arizona, Trump can't win it. Now, I pulled up some maps. Because people like maps. Because people are probably saying, but Florida, Marquis, are you for abortion? Are you for abortion? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. 
under no circumstances. But the idea that the Dobbs decision was going to decrease the number of abortions has been proven completely false. Every state that you see in blue or light blue, the abortion rates increased, including Florida, after Dobbs. It was only in states where there were not a lot of abortions anyway to begin with that they went down. What does it say? They just went somewhere else. All you did is take people who wanted an abortion and make them have to travel. Didn't change their mind a bit. And here are the facts. Here are the numbers. Abortions rose nationally in 2023. You'd have thought with Dobbs, abortions would have gone down, but they didn't. They've gone up. It hasn't been this high in the last 11 years. 1,026,000 abortions in 2023. The Dobbs decision did nothing to save lives. The Dobbs decision did nothing to save lives. Abortion access in the United States pre-Dobbs. Pre-Dobbs. Only a couple states, up to six weeks, up to 20 weeks or later, virtually every other state, and then not restricted, Colorado, Alaska, a red state, two blue states, and two more blue states over here. Now let's look at it after Dobbs. All this does is show a map of restricted access. But look at the numbers. They've gone up. Abortion numbers have gone up. And this is the Florida Maquis um, Communities tab right here. Nevada Supreme Court now rules they can take count, create votes for three days after Election Day or until Harris wins. And they're already setting this up, too. They're already setting this up. They've already planned for her to win. If they thought Trump was going to win, they wouldn't be planning for violence on Election Day. But I want you guys to go back and watch something. Go back and watch very, very closely. Lara and Eric Trump. And I mean look closely. Or, if you'd like to get right to it and not have to sit and figure it all out for yourself, you can join us at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel where we go right to it and I show exactly the symbology of what you should be looking at. There is something going on behind the scenes, and it's undeniable. It's absolutely undeniable. Obama won twice, and not one peep was said at that time about anything being, oh, I guess, what would you say, untoward or suspicious about the vote counting. Nobody said a word about it. Nobody said anything about anything. There were no legal challenges. There were not, not from the right, not from anybody. It's only been since 16. So this idea that, you know, they were set up, you know, that McCain and Romney were just two patsies set up to lose to... No, absolutely not the, not the case. Who remembers the Tea Party? Who remembers the Tea Party? I'm going to make this prediction again here at the end so that people hear me clearly. Donald Trump is very, very likely to lose next week. And when he does, and he looks at all of the returns, and he looks at all of the information about who voted where and in what numbers and why, it's going to come out very clearly that he lost because of the Dobbs decision. The Dobbs, the decision that put abortion back in the hands of the state. And to be clear, I agree with that decision. Totally agree with that decision. Glad Roe v. Wade got knocked back to the states. But the idea that it wouldn't have consequences in the next election was just pie-in-the-sky thinking. And he is going to lash out and he is going to blame Christians for not showing up in big enough numbers to counter the pro-abortion vote. He's going to say there's a lot more Christians out there than there were Christians voting. 
And when we looked at all the votes, there were a lot more people voting because I did this thing. I put these people on the Supreme Court and they ruled this way and they cost me getting reelected. And he may not run again. He may not run again, but there are going to be people who are going to be upset on his behalf. There are going to be people who are upset on his behalf in four years. And when they come out and they decide to run, they're not going to court Christians. They're not going to court gun owners. Because they're going to see you as having abandoned them. Now, whether that's the case or not, I have to ask, would it possibly have been a better strategy to run, instead of on the economy, on COVID, and remind everybody about the forced jabs and the forced masking and the tyrannical way that the Democrats, their governors, and everybody else acted in 21? Non-issue completely. Nobody brought it up. Nobody's polling on it. Nobody's talking about it. And if you had said this in 21, that it wouldn't have been an election issue, people would have said you were crazy. This was way, way more important than the economy at that time. People were like, okay, things are getting rough. Inflation's bad. But this idea of the heavy hand of government coming down with an iron fist and saying, where we can and where we can't go and whose business can be open and whose business isn't and who's a a necessary worker or essential worker and who isn't and who has to have a jab and who doesn't. Uh Uh-uh. That was something that was a missed opportunity. Nobody brought this back up. And you can say you heard it here first. I think... When you look at Dobbs versus this, I think this would have been the one thing that could have energized enough people to override the um, people who are upset about the Dobbs decision. So, join us. Love to have you, Patreon. We get into a much deeper dive about different things over there than what we're allowed to here at YouTube. So... I just wanted to put that out there for you guys, and I know I'm going to have some folks that are upset with me for saying this, but it's just the truth. It's just the truth, and the biggest reasons, and I'm going to go over this again, see if we can pull us back up. Nevada is going to count, keep counting unpostmarked ballots days and days and days after the election. That's gone. There's no way Trump can overcome that. Arizona, just on the concept of abortion or not. Gallegos, Ruben Gallegos is killing Carrie Lake. So that would make it 285 to 253. Trump could win Georgia. I could see that. Trump could win North Carolina. I could see that. There's polling that says that might not happen. And even if you gave Trump, let's say, let's say Wisconsin, it's still 275 to 263. If you give Trump Michigan, it's 270 to 268. And there's just no no way he can win Pennsylvania simply because these big cities over here by Jersey and Delaware and Maryland and Virginia, this whole area is just so saturated with blue voters. You know, even if some magical way somehow Trump could win Nevada, still doesn't get him there. So, I will leave it there. Whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. Join us over Patreon. Love to have you. Like I said, no risk at all. No risk at all. Brand spanking new content over there. Love to have you. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.